Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Amount Play, What Remains of Edith Finch. On the last episode I was in control, uh, we continued to explore, we continued to see stories, um, and uh, we saw the youngest member and, and his story, Gregory. You know, I find it interesting now. Yeah. All of the stories, for the most part, like have been required in order to continue, mm -hmm. like you have to experience them. Gregory's, I believe, is optional. Oh. Because there's nothing that is preventing us from moving on. Yeah. I wonder if that was a conscious choice. Like, by this point in the game, people are aware mm -hmm. of when you play, you're experiencing a family member's death. And maybe, like, the death of a child might be too difficult for some people playing, so they let them skip it. Mm. Curious if that was a conscious choice. Uh, now we've got a... Stair? Stair? A rock wall! Oh, cool! My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. <sighs> At the time, it was as far away as she could get. <sighs> Very cool. I know, I was going to look around, just kind of glance. It's, it's not the, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah, religion it's not was the another thing. thing my mom never talked about. But I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. There's a lot of different religious symbols. There's the Bible, there's a cross. There's Indian with Hindu. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Hmm. That probably explains the mix of uh, religions. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. Is there nothing else to interact with? It just looks here. Looks like we're just heading out. Critical thinking. Pack to India. Huh. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. Oh, solar panels. Well, there's a down and an up. I feel like I should be going up. Since you won't be able to go down if you try. Yeah. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. Look at that, he's like fishing. <laughs> The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. <laughs> this is really cool up here. Probably not structurally sound, but, no. but cool. Yeah, very cool. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Our family history fact or fiction. wild. This also explains some of the homeschooling books that we saw. Yeah. Well, she taught English. Great job. Great job. But it didn't last. More books. The Curse. Taxonomy classification. Hmm. Yeah. 
God, everything is just preserved. Mm -hmm. Nothing ever moves. She wrote a book. It's even a pr projector and... Yeah. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday when Edie gave him a castle. Out here in the middle of nowhere, it's sealed off. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. See the unfinished swan painting? Yeah. With the frog? And there's yellow footprints like the swan left. Yeah, nice little call back to their first game. Uh-huh. As always, there is a way inside. Is there any th anything to the... Um... No. Okay. Only, only a beautiful vista. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Giant shoe print. Oh my! It's the it's the music too. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Whoa! Whoa! Now. Yeah. Do it's you, all of like the art. Do you think the the universes are connected? No, because the are boy you? was um like left and his mother died and it was just him. That's and then fair. he went on the trip to find his dad. I'm sure I'm sure it's just a friendly nod. Yeah, I think it is. There's just a lot of stuff in here. Oh, this is a cool room. No, 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 no. Excellent work, Mal. No. Um, go up and then decide to go straight back down. <sighs> we'll, we'll try it again. Well, I let go of R. You just have to tap it. Like there's the logo in the chair. everywhere yeah if you haven't if you haven't seen or played unfinished swan then none of this would make sense Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush it's a flip book disappeared. That means that the door that we saw must be a path forward? Yeah. I mean, there's nowhere Mom else. spent months yeah. searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. But it's not. It's just a painting. Hmm. And there was nothing else to interact with, so I must have to go back. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. And that's the big question. What did he find? Oh, there's a stairway right there. I missed that. I was like, castle! Well, it was designed to... Yeah. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but... 
I think Lewis blamed himself. And has a little swan. swan. Yeah, yeah. That, that's just, that's cool, man. I'm, and for anyone who watched The Unfinished Swan before coming to this After series. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. I think they'll Until definitely Mom appreciate got a it. job at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. I don't know if that staircase is going to help you. No. <laughs> Let's see, foot count, please. Although the whole thing seems scary. Yeah. Doesn't seem very uh, insulated. Certainly not. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. <laughs> <laughs> so bright. Yeah. There's a black light. Yeah. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. view. Mm-hmm. Institute psychology. of Psychology. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Grab that? No. There's nothing to grab. Nothing? I I can move. This is far left. Can you I use can't the go left up from stick? Here. One. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's two. Two sticks. So you get to play gauntlet while you cut off fish heads. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. Is there anything on this labyrinth? Probably not. I'm sure it tells the same tale both ways. He'd feel his way about. Not that and way. something moved. Bats. And toads. What? And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. <laughs> He took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. It's becoming more real. More. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss but he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, 
tireless, focused. Oh, there I am. There's too many things going on. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. Was that puppy? On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. It's interesting watch you, watching and you he do made this. Musicians. Uh -huh. Also, again with the the wild and songs for gameplay. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination, so he could do whatever he wished. He held an election for mayor. This is so good. <laughs> and he won. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewisville. <laughs> St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a Handsome queen. <laughs> I like how they had the queen handsome and the prince beautiful. I like how you cut through the paint. Mm -hmm. Let's just cut through it this way. The queen was on her own quest for... Ooh, serpents. I like how it's, it's slowly taking up more of the screen. Mm -hmm. And soon there will be no reality. He followed the sound of her harp. Silver harp. has been probably one of my favorites so far. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Wow. 
doing great, Mal. Thanks. <laughs> he was so proud of having created it. I like how you had to in his own get eyes, the head to get in there. Become something greater than a king. He's really taking maladaptive daydreaming to a new level. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Oh my god, we're back in the cannery. began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Wow. Mm -hmm. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Man. This is wild. Mm -hmm. It's also like, you know how it's gonna end. Yeah. And it's bizarre. Including the wise Calico who had insisted on advising. See the Calico? It's Molly. one of the, the most imaginative games we have ever seen. Yes. This is something special. Holding his crown. See the fish motif? There was only yep. one thing left to do. God. Bend down his head. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. <sighs> Mal, that is it. Yeah. That's it for this episode. Um, wow. Jeez. That was, uh, that was incredible. That was really... That was really incredible. Mm -hmm. um, next episode, I'm in control. Seems very likely it'll be the final episode. There's very few family members left on the tree. Oh, you can check out the flag. Yeah. You should do that. Good he catch. was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. Mm. 
All right, next episode, I'll take us out that door through the exit. And uh, we'll see where we <laughs> go from here. See you guys next time for more Stephen Amount Play. What remains of Edith Finch.